Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lyco Birds, and first of all, I just got the news that we hit 100 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel on YouTube. Um, my brother Bobby and I have had a lot of fun making these videos, and we plan to put out a lot more content in the future. So today is August 30th, 2020, and we had a cold front go through yesterday, so today we had excellent northwest winds, so I decided to go hawk watching. And the place I went is the Route 15 Overlook in Lycoming County, Pennsylvania. It's on Route 15 as you head north, just before you get to South Williamsport. So here's a photo I took, and you can see it was a beautiful day. Nice mix of blue sky and clouds. Just a perfect day for early season hawk watching. Here's the checklist, and uh, I just want to quickly run through this. So... Uh, one black vulture and six turkey vultures, probably just locals. Uh, had an osprey, looked like it was migrating, it was up very high. Um, bald eagles, mix of migrants and locals, I'm sure. I put down eight. Some good looks at a pair of adults. Four broadwinged hawks, of course broadwings are starting to move. They'll peak in about three weeks. The peak here in Pennsylvania is usually around September 17th. Red tails, five, mostly juveniles and two American kestrels, a male and a female. If I bring up the photos and we can take a closer look. Not much to say about turkey vultures, um, very distinctive birds. Of course, when they're coming at you, they have this nice dihedral, very unsteady when they fly, especially in strong winds. They gave us some really nice looks, something fun to photograph while you're waiting for hawks. Okay, here's an osprey high overhead. Now this is a glide posture, so you can see that um, the wings are very crooked. Just a very typical look of an osprey gliding high overhead. Compare that to the soaring posture when the wings are more straight out, has more of a lanky look to it. So very crooked wings versus straight wings. Uh, we had a lot of bald eagles, mostly young ones, a couple adults though. Here's a juvenile. On the juvenile, you see the uh, dark underside and dark head with the uh, white wing pits and also these uh, little uh, windows on the inner primaries. Another look at an adult. A pair of adults that came through pretty low gave us a nice look. Another juvenile. Here's an immature uh, white belly. Sometimes on these bald eagles, they can look very small headed. I know we usually say that's uh, more of a trait of a golden eagle, but if we look at this eagle, it has white wing pits, which golden eagles never show. Plus this time of year, August, uh, the chance of seeing a golden eagle in Pennsylvania is very low. Here we have a broad winged hawk. This is um, close to the classic paring knife shape, which is what they do when they glide. So the tail is closed. Straight trailing edge to the wing, curved leading edge. Wingtips look pointy. Another broadwinged hawk. Again, we see the pointy wingtip. Um, sometimes when broadwings are gliding and they have their tail closed, it can look very long. And um, together with the size, you might confuse them for a cooper's hawk. So just be careful about that. We move on to red-tailed hawks. This guy's missing some feathers in the wings and just looks ragged overall. Wait, you see the dark patagial bars. Some more red tails. Here's a juvenile red tail. You get these nice translucent um, windows, more square shaped compared to the crescents of a red shouldered hawk. Again, on juvenile red tails, no dark trailing edge to the wing and no red tail. But we have patagial bars and a belly band. Another juvenile red tail. Again, we see the same features. Belly band, the patagial bars tell us it's a red tail. No, dro no dark trailing edge. And we have the um, more of a light colored tail of a juvenile with some brown striping compared to the red tail of an adult. Here's the top side of a juvenile red tail. We can see the, why, those, um, why they have those windows because the feathers are a little bit lighter in color. Get a nice look at that brown tail. 
another red tail. Here's a kestrel. So kestrels are falcons, very pointed wings. Um, but the wings also look very curved and pointy compared to um, the wings of the broad wing, which we said were pointy. They're not pointy like this, where it's like curved and comes to a very sharp point. And we can, uh, even in, in a not so good photo, we can see the facial pattern. This is a male kestrel here, a different bird. The other one was a female. So if we look at the underside spotting, typical of a male. Um, when a male kestrel fans its tail, we see orange feathers, but when they have their tail folded, we only see the outer feathers, which are not orange. So that's what's happening here. We just see the outer feathers, which tuck underneath and cover all of the orange feathers. Here's a head on look of the same male kestrel and a top side view. So we can see that those orange tail feathers do show from the top side. And of course the orange back and the wings are um, sort of a bluish gray and black. And we have the same facial pattern. And that was all the raptors, some other things, at least flycatcher, red-eyed vireos, common raven. So there was a lot of birds to look at, some cedar wax wings flying around. So uh, today was actually my last full day in Pennsylvania. Tomorrow I'll be moving to Delaware, and the next day I'll start my work as the counter at the Ashland Hawk Watch again. This will be my fourth season down there. So I hope that I'll be able to make a lot of content um, based around my, my work down there and living at a nature center. So uh, stay tuned for that. So again, thank you, thank you everyone for 100 subscribers and uh, stay tuned for more content from me and Bobby. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.